Louis 18th. Oh, 14th. Yeah, Louis 14th had authorized in um, 1689. So I'll, I'll read it again so you can have. Um, this text uh, legitimized the practice of slavery in Canada, which Louis the 14th had authorized in 1689. And then um, Louis XIV, uh, King of France, he also brought out um, the, the Code Noir, or the Noir Codes, right? which is basically the same thing as the um, Black Codes that were um, implemented in, um, in, in the American South. Right? Um, the slaves were generally very young. Among the Pawnees, the age would be uh, would have been 14 years old and 18 years old for blacks. The percentage of females among Aboriginal slaves was 57%. Among black slaves, the percent, percentage of males was also 57%. Alright? And then that's why now in Canada now, they, um, they say that they um, criminalized uh, slavery. But basically, you blacks and you natives are, are, are filling the jails, which is modern day slavery. All right. Um, you guys are also filling up the, um, the what's it called again? Um, the, um, the group homes. All right. Um, you know, uh, you got Child Protective Services um, snatching your kids away. All right. Which was basically happen happening to us in slavery. All right. So. We have not left those conditions, all right? And our people that are um, trying to say that we're in post-slavery times, all right? Obviously, all right, are, are sellouts and, and don't want to um, deal with the conditions of, of our people, all right? Yeah. Um, fully head on and truthfully, all right? Um, yeah, so I also have some more information here, all right, which is going into um, New France, which is basically Quebec today, all right. Um, so it says, um, the colonialists of New France had two types of dealings with the Indians, uh, one of gift giving and had uh, the most far-reaching system of Indian alliances in the colonial North America. All right, so they so they basically had a lot of gift giving uh, with, with the natives fur trading. All right, and, um, and and they had a big alliance with with their Indian allies. All right, but at the same time, had thousands of, of Indians in slavery as commodity of the colonial commerce in French settlements. All right, which is basically um, uh, parts of the islands. All right, in the Caribbean. You got Louisiana, you got Quebec, all right? Those were places where the French was, uh, was ruling at one point, all right? Their jobs were, were um, millers, dock loaders, um, domestics, which would mean that they'll be working in the house, and, um, and skilled hands in the urban trade were essential to the colonial uh, um, economy, all right? So, they had our people in people in slavery doing all these all these um, labors for them, which built up their economy. All right, and if they didn't have that labor, all right, um, Canada wouldn't be as prosperous as prosperous as it is today. But now, what what is happening to our people? All right, the same the same thing is happening. We're we're at the, the low paying jobs, but the low paying jobs are the ones that feed. That feed the rich, all right. Uh, we're mining gold. We're um, we're um, we're picking your fruits. You know what I mean. So our people are still doing these um, these jobs, all right. Whether they be um, uh, heavily skilled or, or low skilled jobs, all right. But we're still not being recognized for our labors, all right. Um, they interacted with French settlements in markets and in church and in their master's home, all right? So that's basically like today too, you know? We, we're still in this low condition, but we still can walk by white people. We can, 
uh, stand up in line in, in Fresh Co and uh, Sobeys, all right? Stand up in line with the white man and these other nations, all right? But that, that still doesn't turn our, our condition around, all right? But our people think, oh, you know, because, because I can stand in front of the white man and there's not a black line or a native line or or, or, a white, or a white man's line, you know, we're all standing in the, in the same line, you know, they think that something has changed, all right? But it's telling you that even in slavery, we, we, interacted, we interacted with them, all right? So us rubbing elbows with a white man doesn't mean that we're free, all right? Um, Montreal Commercial District around Rue St. Paul and, um, and Place du March, all right, Indian slaves played an important role. There, half of all colonists who owned a home in 1725 also owned Indian slaves. All right, uh, the Portuguese in uh, 15 in the 1500s sent an expedition to North America under um, Gaspar Cor Corterell, All right, which entered uh, Hudson Straits. They captured 57 slaves to be used as laborers. Because of the large supply of slaves, the land was called Tierra Labrador, or the land of labors, whence, so, uh, whence its present name has come about which that place is known as uh, Newfoundland and, and Labrador, all right? And this was taken from, from the book, all right? The History of Nova Scotia and Other British Provinces by James S. Um, Buckingham, page 168, all right? And then you have other historians who are trying to um, uh, um, uh, basically dismiss that claim but when you look at the evidence, it's, it's, it's very evident. And then those Indians of those um, provinces, which is um, basically islands that we have in Canada, all right? A lot of the Indians are, are basically um, uh, removed off the land, sold into slavery, or basically assimilated into, into uh, uh, white culture. Where, where you know their children, they, they might have married a white woman. Their children come out, and then and then now you're talking to a man who doesn't know anything about his history. He thinks he thinks his mother's his mother's heritage is, is his heritage down the line. Um, the trade between Louisiana and Quebec was very common, and families from Mississippi brought their Negro and Pawnee slaves with them. All right, so some some Native Americans from Louisiana are presently in Quebec, and some slaves, Indian slaves that were in um, in Quebec, same with the Negroes, are in Louisiana or on those um, islands that the French control. All right, so. You know who who has paid for, for those for those sins? All right, who's picking up the tab for that? Um, the the cap the capitulation of Montreal on um, the eighth of September, seventeen sixty. Um, the word "panny" is used in section uh, in, in the forty seventh section which provides the Negroes and the Panis of both sexes should remain slaves and belong to their French and Canadian masters under British rule and masters were at liberty to retain them, sell them, and to train them in Catholic religion, all right, which is also one of the rules in the Code Noir, all right. All right, so that's why now you got a lot of uh, natives who are Catholic, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, we had a native bowing down to Caesar Bouger, crying, crying at Caesar Bouger when we were preaching, you know, wondering why the devil horns is on him, and you know, you know. So a lot of our people are, are Catholic now. Why? Because the slave master taught you that um, that religion, all right, which has nothing to do with with, with
with the scriptures. Those things are tradition of men, all right? And a lot of their customs came in way later than, than you would think, all right? And they're basically traditions of, of men, all right? They don't have nothing to do with the scriptures, all right? Um, uh, the castle of St. Louis and other seats of, of the mighty in New France have been described with little huts in their courtyards of the Negro and Pawnee slaves. All right. So, so you know, so so when people from like the the British or the Dutch would visit the French nobles, all right, if you can call them that, all right, the uh, French devils, all right, they would see that they would have a castle, and right next to their castle, they would have the um. The Indian and the, and the Negro slave in huts. All right. Um, in addition to the Pawnee, all right, which is uh, this word here now is, uh, is the P A W N E E, which is referring to the tribe of Native Americans, and then the P A N I is referring to basically any Native American that was a slave. All right, which is um, offshoot of the real word all right um, uh, they weren't they weren't the only ones as being slaves like like we read in um, in uh, uh, before all right also you had the Fox Indians the Sioux Indians and the Apache Indians being slaves all right um, uh, Colonel Heth Hethcore reported on July 16 1750 the Indian slaves complained that their children were sold to other plantations, but they were told that their children were being taught Christianity by um, by um, by vi by visitors. All right, so that's basically the same thing that happened with uh, with re with residential schools. You know, they they came. Oh, oh we're going to teach you guys how to um, how to read and write, or blah blah blah. So, so some of you guys didn't want to uh, give. up give up your children to the government, they came with warships, battleships, you know, gunships, you know, and um, basically took your children, all right, and, um, you know, strong-armed you in, in, into that, all right, so for you to say that you're free now and um, nothing has been ratified for those actions, all right, you're 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 being delusional. You're not dealing with reality, and that's why a lot of our people are, do a lot of drugs because they don't want to deal with the reality. All right. Um, in 1718, the church uh, registers. All right, the registry of, of, of the church in Quebec City appears many Pawnees. All right, being introduced from Louisiana, being slaves to Quebec families were baptized in 1757 or not you know no no we're we're, we're, we're um were baptized all right in uh in 1758 all right i mean in 1718 sorry um and then in november 4th 1757 a record shows that the panty a panty slave named constant belonging to Madame de Saint Blaine was condemned to punishment by Carcan and Carcan is a word that would mean an iron rod I mean an iron collar that would be placed around a person's neck and connected to a wall to make them stand for long weary hours All right, and also she was banished perpetually from Montreal all right, and then this story also um, coincides with the with the Negro slave woman, all right, um, who was in slavery named Angelique, and uh, basically um, she got condemned to death, all right, because they accused her of um, of burning down uh, Montreal, parts of Montreal, all right. Um, also, darker-skinned Indians were known as Pawnee, Pawnees, uh, um, Noirs, or Black Indians. All right, so you know, like, like when I went down to um, to Mexico, I seen 
dark skinned Indians, you know, I had um, I had videos of video of that, you know, and um, and basically you can you can see that today when you when when you interact with with many of them you'll see dark ones, light ones, you know what I mean, all right, and also too some of uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were 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 with the Indians, all right, dealing with like the Seminole Indians and other native Indian tribes that took in uh, Negroes as um, as uh, companions right and uh, also uh, made them tribesmen just like when we went to um, to the reserve out there um, close to Peterborough uh, we met a native Indian and he told us that his grandfather was a black man all right so um, in Montreal newspapers, basically, um, less than 100 years ago, had runaway slaves. If they were black, the picture would be of a naked man running with a cloth around his waist. If it was a native slave that ran away, the picture would be a native standing with a feathered headdress and a feathered waist covering a tattooed body. All right? And um, the Pani spoke. Uh, Patois, which was a mix of French and um, uh, Illinois, Illinois language. Right? So um, that was basically a rundown of basically showing showing you brothers out there that Canada is not all sweet and you know Canada has a lot of crimes that it has to deal with. All right. It's just that um, basically United States is uh, a lot of their crimes are more out in the open all right but Canada tries to hide it and tries to bury it and you know say that everything's equal here and all type of crap all right so um, basically this is to show you brothers that, um, that you know that our people are still in slavery and you know and slavery did happen yes it did with a for sure answer, uh, it had happened in Canada to Negroes and uh, Native Native Americans. All right, shalom.